What up, y'all? I low-key hope the lighting is not f***ing shitty because I'm not pulling on my ring light for this video. I feel like this just turn it on my regular kitchen light and we good. Honestly, it's because I didn't feel like setting all that up. At this point, this is a, pretty much a series on my channel where I basically carve pumpkins every year. This is going to be the third year in a row that I'm doing this video. And by the time you guys are seeing this, it's going to be on Halloween day. Next year, previous years we've done this, it's always been posted way before Halloween. I'm sorry, I'm kind of late on this and I'm dropping this Halloween day. You guys are seeing this on Halloween day. But I digress, but it's still getting done in the month of October. Give me my credit. Anyway, you read the title, so you already know what's going on. I'm also going to leave some bloopers at the end of this video. I usually don't do that, but I feel like why not? If I remember to edit them, future Kaya, I really hope that you weren't lazy. I'm going to just leave some uncut bloopers, so make sure you stay tuned to the end. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kaya or Kaya for short. This channel is full of good vibes, lit music, lit energy all the time. So make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I, I don't want to say too much because obviously the title is, you already understand the title if you read the fucking title. We're finna carve a pumpkin. I did do a pumpkin carving already uh, with, on my previous video. I feel like I still have to do my regular annual pumpkin carving video on my channel. So yeah, make sure you guys like the video. We finna just get started, start, sharded. What? Let me take a deep breath real quick because it's too much going on. Alright. I bought this tablecloth. I feel like I had to. Oh my god, wait, do I even have the tools? Cuz y'all, I did a pumpkin carving video last video, which was like a week ago. And I'm not sure if I threw away my pumpkin carving tools or not. So hopefully I didn't. Please gotta tell me you want to go, man. Alright, found the tools. This is all they have when you go to the grocery store to get pumpkin carving shit, bro. Like they need to step their game up. Once again, I do this video every year and I always post ask me a question on my Instagram. And I just answer a few you guys' questions. I feel like I give good advice. So alright. I just supposed to ask me a question, but yeah, let's get started. Oh, my bad, y'all. Damn, move next time. All right, we on go. We on go. This is the pumpkin we're gonna be carving, and I bought this maybe three days ago. One thing I don't exactly enjoy about doing this every year is the cleanup. Like that clean, this cleanup process is what gets me. Let's see. Um, the pumpkin this year isn't that big. Now, what design should I do? Let's just work on getting all the pumpkin guts out first before I start trying to figure out what design I want to do. I feel like very tired. Yeah, I feel like the most annoying and tedious part is just getting all the pumpkin guts out. Like realistically, you want to be sitting here doing this, bro. My arms are about to fall off. I just started carving though. So let me relax and not complain so much. Oh my God, this is taking forever. It's cool, bro. I got eyes. People watching me right now. Let me act as sober as I possibly can right now. Yeah, guys, so make sure you like and subscribe. But yeah, I don't know. My day was actually pretty good. Like, I didn't really do anything today. I was sleeping. I was chilling. Why am I talking so loud? Am I talking loud? Just relax, bro. All right, y'all. We locked in. This reminds me of the movie Saw. Since I'm sawing, like, hey. Bro, it makes sense. Stop trying to act like I'm just saying random shit, bro. Anyway, the movie Saw was not that good. I'm sorry. I knew nothing about Saw, so, like, I didn't know what to expect. And, you know, maybe I'm the wrong person to be trying to dissect the movie if I never saw any of the other ones, but it was not that good. I'm so sorry, bro. I expected a scary movie initially. It was not a scary movie. It was a vulgar, disturbing movie. Watching people bodies get cut up, chopped up, liver, spleen, fuck, you mean, like gonna, yeah, bitch I'll be hot in the summer, yeah, talking shit you can go wonder, yeah, hit you with that lightning, that thunder, yeah. But yeah, but the best movie I saw this year was Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my God, Five Nights at Freddy's was fucking amazing, y'all. So good. I really initially only went for Corey, but also like I love the game. I've never played the game, fun fact, but I've watched Corey play it. I've watched so many different people play it. Speed play it. I've watched so many different people play it. So I practically know the game by heart inside and out. And I just love the game so much. And I love uh, seeing Corey play the game so much. So it was so cool to see the movie. And that was a good movie. Like not even trying to hype the movie up because Corey because Corey is only in like 30 seconds of it but that movie was so phenomenal the plot twist dude like if you have not seen it you need to go see it immediately bro I feel like I've been doing this forever oh my god I wasn't supposed to carve oh I was supposed to carve the top <laughs> why are y'all laughing about time bro Oh, smelling these dookie ass seeds and my whole crib about to smell like dookie and mildew, bro it's cool bro and you know why I'm gonna give y'all a pass and let it slide this time because I got a glove this time 
Yeah, ho. Everybody talking shit down. I have a glove this time, bro. Easy breezy shit too. Easy breezy. This looks like just pure discharge. Like, like I don't understand the joy of pumpkin carving. I'm so serious. Like, I used to. In the beginning, I really used to. But now, it's just maybe like if you with your man or you with your friends or family and it's a good laugh. But just casually doing this in your apartment alone with no friends, no hoes, no bitches, nothing to no motivation in life. Damn, that got dark. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Let's check out these Instagram questions while I am emptying the inside guts of the pumpkin. Someone said, what are you doing if you see two dreadheads running towards you? Let's dissect this. What do they look like? Because not all dreadheads are fine. Just because I know I'm always the advocate for dreadheads and I love dreadheads, I love dreadheads. How do they look though? What the personalities looking like, bro? What the height looking like? You could be 4'11 with good hair. It's really that simple. What, like, you not giving me the other factors, bro? Who's around me? You not giving me the context. You said, if they run towards me, am I in front of Brent Fias? Because if I am, I'm gonna act like they're not even running towards me. I'm gonna act like I don't even see them. You not giving me, you not giving me details and context. If I'm around party next door and it's two dreads running in front of me, and you talking about, oh, what would you do? I would ignore the fuck out of them. I'm so sorry. They're irrelevant. They don't exist if party next door in front of me just saying when do you plan on getting a new apartment what the fuck you trying to say look you might be genuinely curious but to me that sounds like your apartment is dusty fusty rusty custy crusty as shit you need to move out i haven't even been here for two years yet how often am i supposed to move bro if i decide to move when my lease come up then i'll move if not mind your business ass wipe <laughs> all right my bad bro let's just get this done bro honestly i'm just so sick I, I really i'm already so sick of this dirty ass pumpkin house smelling nasty drake was on degrassi <laughs> i'm here for the interesting funny question so if you over here like oh my god kaya i left the question and you didn't answer it and it's nothing against you if i didn't answer your question it's most likely because you asked me a deep question what is the meaning of life how do i get over over a boy who I've been in love with for. I can't even get over a boy, so I don't know how I'm gonna help you out. I'm so sorry, I'm the wrong one. Can you start doing more story times on YouTube? Um, no, I can't because my life is boring, so I really, I could come on here and lie to y'all about a story time, but why would I do that? Actually, I don't even think I've ever done, done a story time on my channel, have I? Maybe in a vlog or something, but like, if you're leaving that comment that I need to post more story times, then you must really not watch my videos because I don't think I've ever made just a dedicated video of strictly a story time. So what's going on, bro? Is you secretly in a relationship? Are you secretly in my business? Wait, that was publicly. You're publicly in my business. Someone said that they need me. And look, I'm not going to answer questions like this because it's a lot of them. A lot of people leaving comments like this. But someone said, I need to start posting more because they've been stressed out. Well, I'm sorry. But no. <laughs> Like all seriousness though, please look at me as a human being. You stressed out about life, nine times out of 10, I'm stressed out too. I appreciate you telling me that you want me to post more because that's more videos for you to watch and it just shows that you mess with me. But you also have to look on it on the other side. Baby, I'm not an entertainment box. It's other people out here you can watch, you feel me? In the meantime, just wait on me, bruh. If you fuck with me enough, just wait on me because I'm probably stressed out about my life just as much as you are. All these deep ass questions, these deep, somebody want me to write a, a bibliography or something. All these deep ass meaning of life ass questions. Where's the fun what keeps you motivated what's your goal in life i'm just trying to survive right now i don't even know what i'm eating for dinner tonight you talking about what's my goal guys please stop asking me deep questions i'm just filming my annual pumpkin garden video and it's people talking about what motivates you what's your goals in life what's your ultimate ultimate deep deepest dark lightning speed of what's the meaning of the world just leave me some funny questions so i can laugh okay so while we're waiting on my instagram story to post where i just told people to stop leaving me documentary ass questions bibliography bible questions while we wait on the new ones to come in and while that post to get posted i am going to give you guys my annual high school freshman tips now if you watch my channel you're going into high school or whatever or you just started high school and you want to figure out how to survive bro how to live how to make friends what to do what not to do i got you i do this every year also i'm gonna leave an i card up at the top so you guys can watch my previous pumpkin carving videos and if you want more freshman tips they will be in those videos as well number one I don't know if y'all listen to Nick Cannon, but listen to Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, a lot of people don't know this, but Nick Cannon is number one, literally one of the number one most streamed artists of all time. A lot of people listen to Nick Cannon, but they listen to Nick Cannon behind closed doors because they don't want people to know like, oh, I got good music taste. Because once people know that you got good music taste, they all over you. And some people don't like that type of attention. So... So number one rule is listen to Nick Cannon publicly. Tell people, just walk up to strangers and be like, hey, I listen to Nick Cannon, by the way. Just look them up and down like this and squint your eyes. So they'd be like, oh, they listen to Nick Cannon too? I don't gotta be a secret around them, you feel me? That's literally all you have to do. 
Also, bonus points, bro. People gonna fuck with you even more if you bring a speaker. Oh my gosh, oh by shot. Bring a speaker and walk around school with it on your shoulder. Matter of fact, duct tape it to your shoulder. I'm telling you. And play Nick Cannon out loud. People gonna be like, oh, they got fire music taste, bro. And then everybody's gonna wanna be your friend. It's literally, a lot of people don't know that tip. That's one tip that like will really have you survive in high school and have like the best high school years you ever had. I'm telling you. Even if you a sophomore, bro, I'm telling you. Third tip, after you leave the bathroom, don't wash your hands. And I'm gonna tell you why. School bathrooms, soap. Be, don't actually be soaked. So, when you walk out the bathroom and you don't wash your hands, especially if you're a girl, this is easy tip on how to make friends when, you, when you're when you a girl. Cause boys don't be washing their hands anyway. Use the bathroom, right? And don't wash your hands. Walk out the bathroom. If a girl's in there and she saw that you didn't wash your hands, she's most likely gonna walk up to you and be like, hey, wait, and tap you on the shoulder and be like, you forgot to wash your hands. And you gonna be like, oh yeah, my fault, I was high. And then, and then uh, y'all gonna start talking. You gonna be like, hey, do you like Brent Fias? Yeah, I love his music. His new album was good, right? And then y'all gonna just start talking about, like literally then just suddenly, y'all gonna be best friends. It's really so simple. Like I'm telling you, I'm giving y'all the free sauce, bro. People don't know, like it's so crazy. Number three, I highly recommend that you dye your hair red, but not just any type of red, ice spice red. And if you really wanna go all the way, cut your hair short like ice spice, do the little curl thing. If you have straight hair, curl it every day. But I'm telling y'all, everybody loves Loves who? Ice Spice. All love Ice Spice. Therefore, if you cut your hair, everybody gonna fuck with you because Ice Spice is popping. And everybody love Ice Spice, so they gonna love you too, bro. Number four. If you get caught on your phone and the teacher be like, you know what? Hand me your phone. You got detention. All you have to do to get him or her to give you your phone back. Do this. Instantly works, bro. Instantly works, guys. Instantly works. Try these tips out for next year. This year, if you're in eighth grade, don't matter what grade you're going to, try this out for the new school year. You're gonna have the best school year you've ever had, okay? Go ahead and empty it out. <sighs> it's looking like majority of it is emptied, y'all. I can see the inside. She's pretty much emptied out. No seeds or anything in it. Man, it feels good to not have coochie guts on my... Wait, it might be kids watching. Man, it sure does feel good to not have coochie guts on my hands this time. I am going to look up what design I want to do for the pumpkin carbon. I think I'm going to do something Hello Kitty themed. My phone is on 5%, so let's hurry up and do that as well as answer some questions. My editor just asked me this question, guys. If you can't see it, it says, are you black? Least favorite TikTok trend that someone's done? Bro, they make every TikTok trend a glow up a trend. And I'm not gonna lie, I participated in a few of them on my spam account and stuff like that. But you know the Tyler Creator song, Answer? They'll do a glow up, the first slide of him saying, I'll call her, and it's like a picture of them when they was younger. And then the next slide is a glow up picture of them, or a current picture of them. And then it says the lyrics, but she won't answer. Didn't Tyler Creator make that song about like someone in his family or a loved one passing away or a friend or something? If I'm not mistaken, why y'all making glow up? Like stop making glow ups to tragic ass songs. Not even just tragic songs. It's like every song does not need a glow up trend. Every single one doesn't. And then what kills me, if you actually had a glow up, like say start working out, going to the gym, eating well, and then say you had like crooked teeth and you got braces and you're like just proud of that, then it's like amazing. Show your glow up. But actual, they don't be actual glow ups. It be photos of them as a baby. You two years old, you ain't even hit puberty. You ain't even walk yet. You talking about call her, but she won't answer. Stop trying to do glow ups when you didn't even peek. You, you didn't even know how to spell yet. You over here talking about glow up, bro. If you gonna actually do a glow up thing, if you gonna actually do a glow up trend, at least do it when you're of age if, to show the before and after. You get what I'm saying? Like a, appropriate age, bro. Stop doing it when you're two years old, bro. Someone asked my typical morning routine or like something that I do day to day, like what's an ideal morning for me? And I feel like my morning routine changes so much, but as of lately, it's literally just been wake up whenever I wake up, honestly, like maybe 1 p.m. I'm so sorry, I'm so serious. I go to the gym pretty late so I typically wake up like the average person does and scroll on my phone. I usually do the 3 to 1 method, fun fact, which is basically just saying 3 to 1 go and you get yourself up. So I just get up, skincare, brush my teeth, shower if I need to, whatever, do my hair for the day. Then I'm taking my vitamins. Oh my gosh, I've been heavy on taking my vitamins. I feel like I have my moments sometimes where I'm like consistent with my vitamins then, I'm, then I stop. Since I've been going to the gym a lot, I'm constantly taking my vitamins. Like that's one thing I'm not skipping. Y'all know I love Care Of. I literally have been working with Care Of for 
for years love every vitamin down like i love them so much to the point where i'm talking about them in right now but take care of.com you guys probably know this if you watch my channel but yeah i love care of high quality vitamins shipped to your door every month 30 day packs like i just love it it's so convenient i'll probably leave a link to the care of vitamins in my description just in case anybody wants it top five favorite songs at the moment oh baby let's lock in let me see this song first all right that's that's only two songs but i really need to get this pumpkin done um but just for the sake of saving myself a little bit of editing so i can get this video out on halloween the first song i'm not gonna put it on the screen but first song was caribou box the 42nd song was 500 pounds by lil tecca 500 lbs i still have no idea what design i'm gonna do why these hello kitty pumpkins it's too much work i don't have the tools for it like you have to have a scraper thing all right matter of fact i low-key feel like i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to finesse you feel me let's lock in Someone said top three songs of the new Brent album. Yeah, I posted a reaction to me listening to the new Brent album if you guys wanna watch that. You guys gotta head over to my second channel at Kaya's Archive. I was dressed as him on stream while reacting to the new album. But according to my list, I haven't listened to it maybe since it dropped, honestly. But according to my list when I reacted to it, top songs for me were Tim's intro, Forever Yours, Belong to You, Outside All Night, and Last One Left. Go stream Larger Than Life, bro. How does it feel to be 20? 23 but look 80. What? That's not funny, dude. That's literally not funny. I don't look fucking 80 years old, bro. Do I? Thoughts on the economic state of the world right now. Would you let a black man get your kitty? Bro, like why do two year olds follow me? Why do two year olds follow me? Why can't y'all just ask some normal questions, bro? Would you let a black man get your kitty? What the fuck? Like bro, you have to be you have to be two years old and I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting frustrated because my pumpkin looks fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> At this point, I'm drawing on a pumpkin. I can't like, it looks fucking stupid. And guess what? My shit broke. My wire keeps bending. It's so loose at the base. Probably because I already carved a huge ass pumpkin with this uh, on the last video. As soon as I get locked in and start scraping, it starts, it starts doing the hips. Like bro, this shit is not the YouTuber hand. <laughs> so guess what we're finna do? Painting, Woo! We're gonna do a little bit of painting on the pumpkin instead. I wish, I low-key really wish I would've just done that in the first place, cause this don't look like Hello Kitty, and if it do, she's on crack. But I am gonna paint on her whiskers and her bow, so let me just go ahead and draw that. Oh, I drew it so badly. So we've drawn up the face. You guys can't really see it, but I'll show you guys at the end. I don't need y'all all in my business like that, bruh. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do red, but my, I might have to do a couple of layers because it might not show up that well. Honestly, I can take the glove off now. Get the fuck off me. Now let me pull up a chair, actually, because I gotta lock in. Someone said, what's under all them wigs? Your ass, bruh. Stay out of black women's business. Especially because I have shown my real hair so often. I mean, if you follow my Instagram, you follow my TikTok, honestly. If you even follow the damn YouTube, if you even watching this video, you shouldn't be asking shit like that. Because now you're trying to, I feel like you're trying to be funny. Like, oh, you don't got no hair. And if I didn't have hair and normalize, let's normalize. Stop talking about black women hair. I know I might be going a little hard, but there has been a handful of questions like that. Like, oh, what's underneath the wig? Like, what you trying to say? I'm bald headed, bro. And if I was, what's the problem with being bald headed? Actually, my hair is pretty long. If you've been around, no, you know. I thought I would have had to do multiple layers, but I don't. Maybe it's good that the lighting is so low for me because like, I don't have a ring light on or anything and it looks really good. Like it looks like I don't need any layers and this is just Eden, I'm telling y'all. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna look like that in real lighting too. I'm never too zooted to perfect and equate. Ooh, that didn't come out how I wanted it to. I decided to outline in black what I carved. Cause I only carved the eyes and the mouth. I mean, the eyes and the nose. Hello Kitty don't got no mouth. How does she eat? Alexa, how does Hello Kitty eat? From customcursor.com. Hello Kitty often uses this kind of apples in cooking and baking. And she also likes to eat them raw as a snack or add them to salads or smoothies. But she don't have a mouth. Alexa, why doesn't Hello Kitty have a mouth? There's something I found on reference.com. Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth because she communicates through her heart rather than in words. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Cornballer. She communicates through her heart. Girl, what? She whole thing's this a fairy tale. Whole thing, she got magic powers and shit. You a cat, little hoe. All right, let me not talk about Hello Kitty, bro, because I love Hello Kitty. But girl, you communicate through your heart. <laughs> Girl, they just make anything try to be fancy and magical and powerful. Like, oh my God, that literally just made my day hearing that shit. Okay, well, Hello Kitty is done. I'm sorry that this was supposed to be a pumpkin carving video and it turned into um painting, but I had to. You guys want to see or what? Wow, let me turn the flash on. Oh my God, that sure is something. Oh, I'm going to try to make her look cute. Hold on. Oh my God, wow. That's not what I was thinking that it was gonna be. I really thought the paint would have tied it together, but it's looking a. Uh... What the fuck? I hate it. Honestly, don't discredit me, bro. Don't start judging me based off of one pumpkin. I'm usually good at what I do, bro. Every other pumpkin carving video, I always kill, bro. Always does good, bro. At least I have self awareness, bro. What the fuck is this? This is not Hello Kitty. This is Goodbye Dog. <laughs> All right, that wasn't funny, bro. That wasn't funny. <laughs> I have never seen any of the other saws or I knew nothing. I absolutely knew. Can you speak? I wish someone would be in my guts. Not putting that, don't put that in. If these tips don't work, then my name isn't Claire. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Bitch. Hello Kitty. Oh my gosh. Hello Kitty Pumpkin. It literally looks like I'm painting with period blood, bro. Do not edit that part in, Kaya. Cut that out.